What's going on YouTube? Uh, Chris here with part 2 of the 350Z um, engine rebuild. Um, so in this video, we're going to try to go through and get all the <coughs> engine harness moved out of the way, um, get all the top end off, air intake, um, air manifold, um, get the strut tower released. Um, I'm kind of debating. Um, I saw in videos it's easier to take the engine out um, by removing the whole front end and whatnot. But I think me and uh, Miguel are just going to disconnect the tranny and the engine should be able to go up. I think we'll just need to remove the hood. <clears throat> but uh, at this point, it's a little too soon to tell. So I'm going to go through and try to get all these... Uh, all the top end, all the all the light stuff out of the way, all the cables, wires, harnesses, get it out of the way and kind of take it step by step. I also got to lift the car and get all the liquids out as uh, he told me to do. Um, so we are going to get that going today and see where it goes. Yeah, I'm all in. Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she feeling me. Preoccupied by the motivation. Put in the time, pay the entry fee. Bro on the rise, yeah, he kinda nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up the clear, my eyes have recorded. Praise up to God, I ain't chasing no bitch. Swinging the mist, got me hitting these licks. I get the orders, don't get it distorted. Disconnected, I've been cordless, I've been cordial, I've been exploring. I got a whole lot, but somehow I want more of it. I want to tour and put on for the soil Hey, bruh, remember they used to ignore us? Now they drop me the pin with the cord And they catch me running through the ordinance Remember we couldn't afford the whip Pushing the scraper, that shit was so ageless We blowing on grapes for the flavors All of a sudden we major Still independent by no label For now I'm going hard enough that the streams Will lead to a house by the beach All of this done with the speech Fill in my pockets for now, for later I want the picture for some sign of the neighbors I used to skip out on the payments Nowadays I tax for the neighbor Dog on the line, you ain't tapping in I'm staying clear, fake rapper friends Kamikaze on a traffic cam only one shot to navigate the labyrinth of keeping it late, burn it down to the ash. My life is much more than imagined. I got where I'm at with the passion. Trade it all to live it backwards. Pray we ain't make it through the night. Smells burnt. Oh, you guys can smell that. At this point, uh, I think we're gonna grind the radiator fluid, and the only way I see doing that is the proper way, but disconnecting this lower hose, and then it'll drain out from the block, and it'll drain out from the radiator. Um, like I said, that came out horrible. It stinks. It's nasty. I've never really, you know, I like the smell of oil, but that one was just gross. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna disconnect this, get that pulled out, get it all drained out into this, and I think that's gonna be it for the fluids, so. So while that drains out, I'm gonna clean up real quick. It uh, it appears that the guy who I bought the car from, I mean, he replaced the radiator, he replaced the clutch, um, he replaced a lot of things. I actually got a really good deal on the car. Um, he was a local guy, super cool guy. His name's uh, Marty. 
and he was honest with me the whole time. You know, hey, block's blown. I replaced this, I replaced that. I want this much. And honestly, I think it's a really good price. You guys let me know. I won't tell you the price, but these things are going for a ridiculous amount of money. Yes, it does need some stuff. And tires, it needs engine, it needs. But hopefully, we start gaining some experience too, which is the biggest thing. So let's get to it. I'm gonna start connecting some stuff up top. I'll set you guys. Let's see where I can set you guys up real quick and do a little time lapse. One thing on these, it was just four bolts, pretty straightforward. Pull that straight up, straight up, and it's got a clip right there. Hold on, let me get this clip. Don't look at my mess, it's a mess. I have a mess everywhere. enjoy doing now is putting everything back where I grabbed it from so put that up right there it kind of saves me from losing shit and bolts are or mixing them at least Pedal van. Guys, need to pedal. That's my dog. I thought he was away. Okay, so now I can disconnect this. This is one, two, three bolts. Uh, I can disconnect this. You just unclamp it from here, from down here. I think this was already disconnected for some reason. Uh, to, for these, you just, you know, push down and pull. So it's this, this comes out from one, one, I believe, just one right here. It's a little different on G35s. I've worked on G35s, but 350s, it's similar, but still different. So let me get this off, these bolts off, and get going from there. With this one, there's one more bolt right there, like I said. I I thought I remembered it, but I couldn't see it. And this one just did a little bit, and it's got down here, which I will disconnect. So I have all these stuffs kind of set up over here, I'm trying to keep it clean. So I have the air intake. This stuff is just random gloves, which I'm not using. All my trim pieces on the engine covers, engine covers, headlights, bumper, and now this. Next, I know we can remove the plenum. We can start removing the harness, so let me see if I can. And then start removing the plenum. As you can see, it's pretty freed up here. There's not much cables down here. You know, there's one. I think that's AC. It's a couple down here. For the majority of the part, not really. So, so I'm gonna remove the plenum. It's gonna be one, two, three. All these bolts on the edges. It's gonna be one of these. I've removed one of these before. It's been a while. 
So we'll see how it goes um, and try to do it nice and neat and organized, hopefully. So I like putting all the bolts and cups, kind of separating them. I think that was, yeah, that's probably it. So it's good to note these, these are uh, quite a bit shorter. So these are gonna be the lower ones, which I have it on video, so I'm gonna be able to remember. And these are gonna be the top ones. One, two, three, four. And that's gonna be this. All right, guys, this off and see where we're at. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna need to disconnect this, which is just a clip and pull like that. Pull that, this comes off. I think that's about it. The lower plenum, oh, right here. This one right here. That's gonna go right. So this one go right here. We'll try to connect those too. So I disconnected this lower one that connects here into. I think there's a regulator or something. Um, so this lower one connects here, and this upper one connects here. And that's that. So my GoPro died, but I left off here. There's one more I gotta disconnect over there. So I'm gonna disconnect that and then the whole tap should come off. And I'll, I'll get you guys with that. All right, so like I said, I disconnected that one. It was, it was this hose right here. Mainly I'm saying it because I don't want to forget it. Um, got the gasket. This come off. The problem, it goes, it runs through here. So I gotta do that. Um, so on this one, I believe it's gonna be this one. You gotta take off. Uh, I gotta do this one. This is just attaches the harness. And back here. I gotta do, do this one. No, take it up. Take it out. So let's get to it. I think you gotta take some little regulators. I, I really don't know what this is called. I think these. They just attach one, two bolts, they fall down, and I can take off the rest. So I'll get to it, get you guys back once that's good. So these bolts are pretty long. That's why it's important to get a catch cam, boys. <clears throat> it's pretty long. But overall, it, looks, it doesn't look too bad. Gonna have to find out what spec he's at once we're ready to put him back on. But my priority right now is just taking it apart. Hopefully, you know, if I f something up, <coughs> Miguel gonna get the shit going pretty good. So this, I'm gonna get a new gasket anyway. So that's that. And also this right here. Um, this gasket can now go. I need to get a new gasket anyways. All right, so we got it off. We got it off. It's gonna be the two bolts here. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory there. I got my bolts in. Here, let me clean out the camera real quick because can't have you guys all fogged up. So it's those. I'll show you over here what I got. So I got the lower piece there. <coughs> Look, there's a 
think uh, I, I don't know what this one is but i just connected to that uh you got the gasket lower and then what i'm gonna do so i'm kind of going gonna go ahead i just don't know how long i'm gonna be on this project so i'm gonna go ahead and put everything kind of back how it was and that goes like that yeah so that goes like that and then this it's kind of hard doing it with one hand we'll go Alright, so I did have you guys right now. Just put that there. And this I could call it out of the way. We got the bolts, lower manifold, upper manifold. That should be ready to go. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do next is take care of the fuel railing, which is gonna be one, two, goes here, and then it hides against the wall, so I can just kind of tuck it this way. Um and keep going after little things. And then I can tackle a couple of the harnesses, get them out of the way. Um, and just try to get as much cleared off the engine just to leave it kind of bare. Again, I'm still trying to um, figure out if I'm just going to take the hood off and lift it up. If not, then pull this whole thing, which is a lot more work, but it's doable. You know, that way we can disconnect the AC condenser with the lines coming into the um, uh, condenser cooler. Um, and then the power steering also goes through and whatnot. So more work but it's doable so let's keep going all right so i disconnected the adapters um i'm gonna go ahead and cover these just because i don't want anything going in there you know how 10 millimeters are you know they get everywhere and hard to kind of catch so i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick So that should be good. Let me get these out and then disconnect this rail. I think it's one, two, three, four, and then just pop out. All right, so the fuel rail is out. Um, now I'm gonna just gonna work my way backwards on getting this harness kind of backed out, unraveled. It starts there. This is where the harness is. Just work my way back and try to get some of this stuff out. All right, guys. So so far we got all this cleared out. We got them all disconnected. Oh shoot. Uh, ran all the way around here. Started disconnecting everything. Still marking everything. It's lame as hell. I know. But better safe than sorry. Back of block, you know. AC condenser. I gotta, you know, until I get better at this, I gotta keep everything kind of organized and whatnot. Especially if I mess something up that way, whoever comes next, they can be like, oh, okay. You know this goes here this goes there next is the opposite side which is gonna be one which i think if i disconnect this oh no this goes here i just make it so it stays here so i gotta disconnect these these are not hard the hardest one is gonna be down here which is following this one down it goes down to i think the power steering i don't know if you guys can see it so i'm gonna have to figure out how i can reach that but I haven't taken much apart. If not, I'm just going to keep, you know, taking things apart and trying to tackle it that way. I'm kind of having trouble following this one down, which this one's going to go down and connect the alternator. Wait, wait. Alternator, it connects into the oil. Um, I think it's the oil gauge, um, oil level gauge, and then the engine block. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is disconnect the alternator, take that out. That way I can disconnect it from there and have a little bit more clearance just cause it's really tight. Um, the connector's up here and it's just, it's being a pain. And like I said, last thing I want is to damage anything. To get some more clearance, I end up taking out the fans. Uh, it's pretty simple. Two connectors down here, one, and then the other one down there, two bolts, one, two, and the bottom just clips into I'll show you these right here. One, two, the two connectors and the two bolts. One, two, very simple. Now I get some space, you know, so I can get some space in there and get the rest of the stuff out. And this is what I mean, this, these lines go through the radiator support. So that's why I'm trying to not avoid taking out the radiator support. Radiator is not a big deal. It's just those lines. I don't want to have to go through and refill them and whatnot may save some time later on but i think in my case from the videos i saw it's easier not to 
so let me keep going. I'm still working on that uh, connector down here for the alternator. And then that's the last one to be able to just keep going through the top. And then loosen up down here. We've got a bolt. I'll show you guys underneath. And then from there, this will come off like this. Bad. I think I might as well replace this while I'm at it. So, so and then I'll show you the bolt that needs to get loosened up. It's from that same part. I really don't know why you gotta loosen this up. I, I, it beats me. But the, this is the one that needs to get loosened. And then it drops this, and the belt comes off. All right, guys. So I got that pretty much disconnected. I got really ahead of myself. Uh, only because I started disconnecting the tranny but we're not taking off the tranny we're just taking the engine the block so it looks like we got everything everything pretty much there there's like oh, maybe a bolt right here which I think it is a bolt which I can take off and this thing should be able to have one more connector So I'll get this connector from down here and then a bolt and that should be the engine harness. That should be the engine harness out. Again, tranny, I mean, we'll unbolt it from here. Um, that one should be rather simple. I think we're pretty much in a good spot. Um, I'll take those two off, get that bolt off and I think the engine should be freed up. It should be ready to, to go. So it's just this AC condenser off. And, Oh, I need a, oh, actually, wrong. I need a, the manifolds off. So I need those off. We'll see. All right, boys, so I'm gonna pause there. Um, I, we may have to take off the radiator support, radiator, uh, AC condenser. Um, still unsure yet. We're gonna figure it out first, see how much uh, clearance we need for the clutch. Um, on the exhaust end, I'm gonna pause there because I need some deep sockets. Uh, so I'm gonna run to Harbor Freight, get some deep sockets, uh, and then get some sockets with a swivel to be able to get the bell housing bolts, um, some extensions. But overall, we left off in a really good spot. We left off in a really good spot. Uh, I'm gonna try to get that hood off, like I said. Um, if you're gonna try to do this, I recommend having someone behind you, like who you can call and be like, hey man, I'm kind of stuck on this or something. Um, that's kind of what's helping me out so far so good harness wasn't a problem it was difficult down there difficult back there everything else up top easy uh, some pretty good battle scars but you know it's i don't want to say it's it's going to be a good good project especially um for the most part because it's dedicated to my brother um this is gonna mean a lot um so it's really getting me out of my comfort zone and that's something that i really personally like um trying to make the best out of everything and um you know it sucks i can't you know i can't bring my brother back and that's everything i want um uh, but i can only make him proud and the only way i see making him proud is you know getting out of my comfort zone and getting all this all this going so uh i'm gonna go to heart freight i'll probably take you guys along with me take uh some shoots and uh go from there uh try to keep this video under like 20 minutes just because i know you guys got shit to do so let's keep going system removing the bell housing bolts uh, so we'll pick up tomorrow um, I think we got everything we got a 
set up the engine hoist, which is gonna take some time. Um, and then we'll just start setting up the, the, the block on the engine hoist, that way we can take off the bell housing bolt and whatnot, uh, and start pulling it. Uh, once we start pulling, we'll have to see what's gonna be the best option at finding a, a new block, which is kind of hard to find rev up blocks uh, or just rebuilding that one, which I've seen people do. It's a little bit cost unfriendly, I would say. It costs a little bit more to rebuild it, but it's the proper way of doing it. So we'll just have to open it up and see where, lay down our options and see what we we'll go from there. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning, uh, next day, and pick up from there. Thank you.